Hi everyone, this is Gail from Gail Julie Makes. I hope you're all well. Just wanted to share with you a Lavinia Stamps tutorial. Haven't worked with the Lavinia Stamps for a while now and I just did a new order and um, I was really excited to receive them so I just wanted to crack on and get in the studio and uh, make a tutorial. So um, this is the final piece using Sarah and the Fairy. I've added a few more details in this one but I'll go through the main process with you to show you. So this was my background. Um, this is a brush show background that I created quite a while ago now so it's been in my stash for a long time. Um, so it's had the opportunity to get nicely flattened. Um, I did use a lot of water in this one when I was using the brush show so it was quite heavily saturated but I love the way it's come out like a sort of Turner picture um, you know with that real sort of like um, sort of powerful uh, looking sky with lots of lots of um, colour in there so um, I've got the Seren Fairy from Lavinia Stamps the great thing about Lavinia Stamps is that you get the acetate to use so you can actually offer that up to your picture um, and you know place the fairies and the, the other stamps that way so I'm doing that now now I liked um, I liked some of the specific areas so I like this bit here um, it kind of worked almost like maybe a bit of a reflection of the the fairy wings but I do later go on and change up where I'm placing things so this is one of the dilemmas we always face isn't it with with the uh, when we're stamping our backgrounds um, as well like you know which is the best section to use so I'm just offering up the uh, back colony there I was still trying to work out exactly what I wanted to use on this piece um, I don't always have an exact clear idea of what I'm doing until I sort of you know have an experiment so I decided I preferred the piece of card this way round um, now I look at it I think actually the orangey sort of colour almost looks like a path so I kind of wish I'd gone down that route but I didn't quite see this when I was um, when I was doing the actual piece, you know, in person. So what I've done is I've inked up with Nocturne, so that's the Versifying Claire, and I'm just uh, pressing down. Now I don't tend to use a stamping platform. If I do have problems with like missing parts of ink, I tend to just fill it in with um, either the ink itself or um, a Stabilo All pencil. So I'm putting a bit of extra pressure on. This is the first time I've actually used this stamp. So I am putting extra pressure on and leaving it on there for longer. And then um, I do actually find that when I pull it off, I'm going to need to do that extra bit of work on it. I don't mind that, though. I mean, I know some people would just prefer to use a stamping platform. That's fine. It's just the way I work. So, uh, yeah, so a few a few areas there that need filling in. So basically, I do go in my, with my Stabilo All Pencil now. Now, the Stabilo All Pencil um, does react with water. So your best bet is to, you know, if you want to add um, any other elements, like if you're going to add water for some reason to your picture uh, for other layers and things, do this stage last if you are going to do that, because obviously the, you know, the colour will run. So I wasn't going to add anything else to this though, other than a little bit of glitter, so, so it was fine. So there you can see me just um, colouring in part of the uh, the fairy that, you know, hasn't quite taken as well. Generally, though, you know, you, you're getting most of the detail in there. It's just because it was the first time I'd used a stamp. I should have primed it really by, you know, testing it. But you don't have to do that. They're good quality stamps anyway. So now I'm just offering up the um, small dwellings acetate to the picture. I liked the idea that, um, again, some of those sort of colours that spilled into other areas, I thought that almost looked like maybe smoke coming out of the chimney. So... Uh, you know I've, I've kept that as my idea here you can see me using my little book I've got a little book that I've uh, used some Lavinia stencils in and I kind of just keep this notebook just to um, test out ideas prime new stamps see what things generally look like and I thought I'd just give this a go with the small dwellings because it was the first time I'd used it just wanted to see what it was going to look like as well with um you know, with the first generation, second generation stamping, that sort of thing. So, so you'll see me doing that now. So again, this this particular stamp I stamped up with Nocturne again in the Versifying Claire, and that's a Lavinia stamp background there with that one. I think I might have used acrylics on that background. Can't remember now, but yeah, I like the way it's building up there. I'm testing the various generations. 
it's just a nice little thing to keep a notebook like that uh, or a little sketchbook that you can just you know you don't have to worry about everything being perfect you can just build on it build on it and build on it so back to the picture then so um i'm going to stamp those small dwellings now now they're a nice yeah. little stamp um as i said i only got them recently but i think they'll be lovely for winter scenes as well come from there so right so that's that in the distance so what we'll do is we'll have maybe a bit of a light we can maybe use this little mask please don't ruin this please do not ruin it girl Obviously the good thing is when you blend in you can kind of, you know, send, if you start on the acetate and then you can just send it outwards in the direction uh, the circle is going and then it can, you know, blend into the rest of your background. So obviously I'm, I'm picking up, here we go, let's get it shot properly, I'm picking up the verdant on my dabber, I'm starting off on the actual acetate circle and I'm going out then. So a lot of the green is going onto my acetate, so it's kind of not too heavy, um, you know, when you first put it on. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So... Hmm. I think what I might do then, I'm just I'm just having crazy ideas again. I almost feel like maybe, what would it look like if I had another sort of bit of light coming off? Hmm. 
but in a different colour, possibly like a darker colour. And I'm only going to go to, I'm only going to sort of go from about here. I'm only going to the very edge of that bit, look, so, I mean, I've gone over a tiny bit there, but, yeah, that's quite cool. And then we'll go for another bit, maybe here, in a slightly different green. So that was, that was Shady Lane. Now I'm going to go for my darker green, which is um, Rainforest. Um, Let's use a different one of these. Let's use this one. And we'll just get a bit here. Just dump it off on the uh, plastic if I need to as well. There we go. There we go. So that's quite a nice effect. Something a bit different. Um, what I might do though is just extend that extend the hills a bit across with my monarch. Okay, so this was the point where I started to get a bit confused with um, whether I actually liked this idea or not. So I do um, go in with the um, I think that one is rainforest just to add a little bit more green behind the houses just to sort of tie in with, you know, what was on the sort of the top circle, basically, and extend that along a little bit. Um, so I do a little bit of this, and I extend a little bit across. Um, I end up extending it across with the monarch as well, and ultimately I end up getting rid of the, the bottom circle altogether. So you'll see me doing that in a second, but I'll speed it up a little bit. And then um, I spent a lot of time trying to cover up basically that circle um and now i look back on it I, I think the circle is fine um but i do prefer my end piece um especially when i make the back circle look more like a big moon which you'll see in the picture at the end i didn't actually record that bit but um i basically used um uh some white acrylic well like a white acrylic pen just to um to give me that that white color on the moon So I was just using um, Twilight vs Fine Claire there for the Bramble stamp. And again, I'm just building up, um, you know, trying to obscure a bit that background um, in, the, um, in the circle, but also building up the foreground. And then I've got my Back Colony stamp that I'm laying down just to sort of see where I want to position that one. And for the back colony, I use the Nocturne First Fine Claire again. There we go, yep, yeah, nice. No, yeah, it's quite busy. It is quite busy with the amount of sort of light that I've done. So uh, at this point, I've extended the hill line at the back with the monarch colour, um, just to try and even it out a little bit. And I do um, now sort of really start thinking about that, that bottom circle bit and edge. getting rid of that. Do that. First of all, though, I decided to go around the edge with, um, for... with the Versifying Claire and I think I go for Warm Breeze <laughs> by the look of it. Yeah, I use the Warm Breeze mm -hmm. colour, so I'm just using my blender and, um, you know, going all the way around the edge just to tie it all in so you're more focused on the centre. So that's got the edges more. And at this point, I decide I need to 
highlight that light source even more so I decided to go around the edge with my glue pen and get some holographic glitter on there. This is the holographic glitter. I think this is in the um, sort of clearance section on the Lavinia stamps now because they've got all the nice biodegradable glitters. So, <coughs> um, but they weren't available when I first got this one. So, right, let's have a look at that then. So we'll tap that off. Let's get a piece of paper. So that's what I've got so far. So I think it works better now I've added the glitter, definitely. Um, I just need to work out what I'm going to do with the coloration. So maybe I will just get rid of this, of this one here altogether and almost have like a double. So maybe that's where it's going wrong, I think. So let's go back in. Let's go back in with a bit of the Monarch. Now we need a bit of colour, maybe here. Hmm, don't know, maybe I should have left it. Oh no, I should have left it. <laughs> Knowing when to stop, isn't it? That's the thing, knowing when to stop. Okay, that looks a bit better. Right, and then I need a green here. So I think that was the, that'd be the, the rainforest one. Here we go here's the finished article so um i'm happy with this now i've, I've come i've come to terms with it now it's it's fine i'm liking it <laughs> um so all i've done is added a bit of that guilt dina wakely spray um just around the edge of the lantern and put some yellow posca pen in the lantern as well to highlight that a bit more i think that ties in better with the hills as well and then obviously i've got my lights um coming from the houses i've got the glitter i've got my yellow posca pen dots which i kind of like the idea of it being fireflies um yeah so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this one now sometimes i think it just takes a while let's just zoom it out a little bit sorry i'm zooming in um yeah sometimes i think it just takes a little while just to um 
you know get used to something so um and i haven't used the stamps for a while so it's just me getting back into practice really so i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial um sorry it's quite a long one i did try and cut it down as much as i could um next time i think when i do another tutorial basically i'll just make one and then um that'll be like my demo one and then what i'll do is um i'll be a lot quicker at what i'm doing then because i've already made one so um so hopefully that will help you out a little bit okay so um if you'd like to subscribe to my channel that's my profile picture there that will subscribe you if, if you hit that and the bell you'll get all my notifications for when i've got a new video coming bottom left there is another video that i think you might like and um please do subscribe guys i'm a small channel approaching 500 subscribers um i do want to start doing giveaways as well um so i'm hoping to do a giveaway to get me to a thousand subscribers and that'd be really awesome if you want to if you want to come and follow my tutorials so take care of yourselves guys and um, keep crafting and i'll see you in the next one bye for now